explain the ethical implications of AI development in healthcare. Sorry, I don't know that one. My oracle. Chat GPT mode activated. Explain the ethical implications of AI development in healthcare. AI development in healthcare raises ethical concerns, including patient privacy. That's the difference when you combine ChatGBT intelligence and convenience. And today I'll show you exactly how to build this yourself. Advantages of renewable energy. Here's a suggested itinerary for a week long trip to Tokyo. Once upon a time, in a sparkling galaxy, imagine you have two magic dice. When you roll them, AI will benefit humanity in the long run. Are you ready to bring AI into your living room? This integration takes just minutes to set up, but it will completely transform how you interact with your smart home. Let's get started. Setting the ChatGBT skill on your requires three different steps that will transform your smart speaker into a powerful AI assistant that is capable to answer very complex questions. First, we're going to need an open AI account so we can create new API keys, configure our Amazon developer account so we can actually create a new skill and import our YAML template code from the GitHub repository. First, let's get your open AI account ready. Sign up on the open AI website if you already don't have an account. Open AI API isn't free, so you will need to add credits to your account in order to use the service. Then on the homepage, go to the account settings, create a new project. Under projects, go to the billing and add the payment method. Next, go to the API key section and generate new key. Give it a name and make sure to save it somewhere as you will need it for the integration. And because it won't be displayed again after you close the page, so really make sure to keep it safe. The API usage charges are based on the model you choose and the number of tokens processed during the conversation. With your API key created and secured, you can now query the API remotely. Let's move to the Amazon account. To create a space for a custom AI skill to live, you will need to set up your Amazon developer account. Create one or log in onto your existing account on the Amazon website. Make sure to use the same Amazon account that is connected to your other devices. Once logged in, navigate to Skills Kit and hit Create a Skill. Give your skill a meaningful name so you can easily identify it later. Select the language, hit Next. Then for the type of experience, select Other. To choose the model, just keep custom. And then for the hosting services, select Hosted Python. And for the hosting region, just select the region that is the closest to the majority of your users. Hit next. Now for the exciting part, we can import the code on the right hand side that will connect both of these platforms. On GitHub, we can copy the skill URL, which can then be imported inside here. Click import and give it a minute. Next, we need to paste the OpenAI API key inside the code template that we have just imported. And here we have the API key variable. It's where we need to paste the key. Hit save, deploy. That will take a while. Once deployed, there is one more thing that we need to check. Inside the build tab, select the invocation name. If it says change me, it means we need to provide the name. I'm just gonna call it my Oracle for now. Hit save and build the skill again. To pick a name, there are some rules that you need to follow, but here are some ideas to get you started. At this point, you've successfully created the integration between ChatGPT and Alexa. Now comes the moment of truth, bringing your ChatGPT skill to life. We'll test in two different environments, first in the developer console, then on the actual device so you can experience the full power of what we have created. 
To test our integration in the console, we need to go to the test tab, enable the testing on development, and here we need to type our invocation name. Chat GPT mode activated. And that means we can interact now with Chat GPT. Let's test the integration by asking some questions. I am an AI language model designed to assist with information and answer questions across various topics. My goal is to provide helpful and accurate responses based on the data I've been trained on. How can I assist you today? So it looks like the integration is working, so I'm just going to ask a couple of questions just to verify the integration. The capital of Mongolia is Ulaanbaatar. And now a bit more complex question. To make pancakes. Mix one cup flour, two tablespoons sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of salt. In another bowl, whisk one cup milk, one egg, and two tablespoons melted butter. Combine wet and dry ingredients. Cook on a greased skillet until bubbles form, then flip. Enjoy. Can you analyze advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy against nuclear power? Advantages of renewable energy. 1. Sustainable and abundant. 2. Low greenhouse gas emissions. 3. Job creation in green sectors. 4. Reduces dependence on fossil fuels. Disadvantages of renewable energy. 1. Intermittent energy supply, for example, solar, wind. 2. High initial costs for infrastructure. 3. Help me plan a week-long trip to Tokyo that includes historical sites and modern attractions. Here's a suggested itinerary for a week-long trip to Tokyo, blending historical sites and modern attractions. Day 1. Arrival. Arrive in Tokyo. Check into your hotel. Explore the Shinjuku area. Visit the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building for panoramic views. Day 2. Historical Tokyo. Day 3. Imperial Tokyo. Day 4. Modern attractions. Spend the day in Odaiba. Day 5. Traditional culture. Visit Meiji Shrine in Shibuya. Day 6. Day trip. Take a day trip to Nikko or Kamakura for historical temples and natural beauty. Day 7. Final day. Visit Akihabara for electronics and otaku culture. Can you write a short bedtime story about a brave little robot who discovers a new planet? Once upon a time, in a sparkling galaxy, there lived a brave little robot named Zippy. Zippy was curious and loved exploring the stars. One day, while zooming through space, he spotted a mysterious, glowing planet. With a heart full of courage, Zippy landed on the planet, called Lumina. It shimmered with vibrant colors, and the air smelled sweet like candy. As he ventured out, Explain quantum entanglement like I'm ten years old. Imagine you have two magic dice. When you roll them, they always show the same number, no matter how far apart they are. If you roll one and it shows a three, the other one will also show a three, even if it's on the other side of the universe. Quantum entanglement is like those magic dice. In the quantum world, some tiny particles can be connected in such a way that when you do something to one particle, the other one instantly knows and reacts, no matter how far apart they are. It's a special kind of connection that scientists are still trying to understand. Debate both sides of whenever artificial intelligence will benefit humanity in the long run. AI will benefit humanity in the long run. 1. Efficiency and productivity. AI can automate repetitive tasks, increasing efficiency and allowing humans to focus on creative and complex work. 2. Healthcare advancements. AI can analyze vast amounts of medical data, leading to faster diagnoses, personalized treatments, and improved patient outcomes. Congratulations, you've now successfully created an AI assistant that combines convenience with ChatGBT intelligence. The possibilities are almost endless, from homework help to creative ideas, and even detailed explanations of very complex topics, all accessible through a simple voice commands in your home. However, OpenAI API isn't free, and we can check the usage in the top left corner. Here we can see how much we have spent every single day. And if I were to check how much I have spent so far in April, it's only two cents. 
and the total request is 70 and that has used around 80,000 of tokens in total. With my current language model, Foro Mini, for the light usage, asking only about a few questions a day, expect to spend around 2 to 5 cents per month. Medium usage might cost anywhere from 5 to 8, while heavy daily interaction will cost more depending on how heavy the usage is. So now that your integration is working, let's explore how to make it truly yours with some powerful customizations. We will adjust how the AI thinks, select the optimal language model, fine tune responses and optimize memory usage. First, let's customize the AI personality by modifying the system prompt. So in order to change the system prompt, all we need to do is go to the code tab and then inside our Lambda function, we need to scroll down to the messages and here we have the content. And then within here we have the text, which is essentially our AI instruction manual that determines how it will think and respond. And if we want to make a change here, all we need to do is change this text here, hit save and deploy for the changes to take effect. Self-driving car technology relies on a combination of sensors, like LiDAR, cameras, and radar, artificial intelligence, and machine learning algorithms. Imagine you have a toy car that can drive by itself without anyone pushing it. Self-driving technology is like the brain of that toy car. It uses special tools like cameras and sensors to see where it is going, just like how you use your eyes to look around. Now let's talk about selecting the right AI model, which affects both intelligence and cost. Our current language model, for Omini, hits the perfect spot between cost and quality. It's pretty cheap and it works pretty well. The more recent for one Mini, it's over twice as expensive, which isn't terrible, but you might want to test if the improvements justifies the higher price. Another option is GPT-41 Nano, which is a slightly cheaper than 41 Mini and being newer might actually perform better for less money. High-end models like GPT-41 and O3 are probably too powerful and expensive for what we need here in the long run. To change the AI language model is also very simple. All you have to do is locate this generate GPT response method, this data object that takes in the key of the model and the name of the model that you want to use. So in order to change the model, all you have to do is replace this text here. And tuning your response parameters gives you a precise control over your AI communication style. The temperature settings control creativity. It doesn't have a massive impact, but the lower the value, the responses are a lot more consistent and factual, perfect for asking information. The higher the value, they become a lot more creative, ideal for storytelling. Here is the difference. We can also set the temperature settings in the very same data objects where we can specify the AI language model. We also have this max token parameter that will determine how long the responses should be. However, I recommend for the voice interfaces anywhere from two to 300 typically strikes the right balance between the details and length. Finally, let's optimize your assistant memory to balance the context awareness with the costs. Each time you chat with AI, all previous messages must be sent again with each new question. This helps the AI remember your conversation, but at the same time uses more tokens. With 10 messages saved, you might send over 2,000 tokens each time you ask something new. This makes your API cost higher. Keeping more history helps the AI understand you better, but will cost more money. This parameter by default is set to 10. However, for typical Alexa conversation, I believe you could reduce that number even further because majority of the questions that you're going to be asking are going to be fairly independent from each other. We can also change what Alexa will say when you stop this skill. All you need to do is find this cancel or stop intent handler, find this speak output, and that's the text that you need to change. Likewise, on startup, this launch request handler, in here we have speak output variable, and this is the text that we need to change. Now transform a standard Alexa device into a highly personalized AI assistant that thinks, speaks and responds exactly as you prefer. 
Your Alexa can now reason through complex questions, assist with creative projects, explain difficult concepts, and even develop a conversational style that matches your preferences. What are you going to ask your new AI assistant?